Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we are working on a serious mess. All these electrical connections need to be enclosed in one enclosure. That's the plan. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. These are a bunch of transformers and electrical connections for some outdoor patio heaters specifically some infrared patio heaters this is completely unacceptable look at these connections these are live and they're just sitting here all these wire nuts it's a complete mess so i made a proposal to extend all these wires and run them all into one enclosure so let's get this started this is insane we're going to start with this mess here to begin with this is the transformer that i installed to get them running but that was just a temporary thing. This is just literally sitting here. It's insane. So the plan is to add a little couple of junction boxes to extend these so all the wired connections are in a panel and then run them. This is the only place here where we actually have space to hang. Everything else is ducked. And look, we're like in a crazy crawl space. So the idea is to transfer this wiring and this wiring and all the controls onto that wall in one enclosure. So we're gonna begin with transferring this side. We have one, two, and three transformers here, but if you look, this is not being used. So we just need to take these two transformers and transfer them over. If we look, we only have one, there's only one power source here. We've got our black 120. And the white is our neutral so we got to extend this one it's going to be our power source for both transformers and then coming out of the transformers this is going to go to one heater and then the next one is going to go to this heater so <laughs> let's begin this mess this is kind of tricky but i do have this side planned out that one we're gonna have to figure out on the spot sometimes before work i go ahead and draw a couple things out to figure out how i'm going to do it so this is gonna be the power coming in, our line voltage, and then this is the wires for the heaters. We're gonna have two separate handy boxes, and then we're gonna run BX into our one main panel and two transformers, just how I'm gonna wire it. Just a little thing to help me understand, just something that I do, and let's get started. So this is a 10 by 10 enclosure, and the idea is to hang it on the wall. And from there, we're gonna know the distance from that crazy mess. So let's begin by hanging this on the wall. I got my helper here. We're gonna start mounting the box. Let's go ahead and start drilling the holes. All right, let's do the next one. Cool, and one more. We already started with the top one. All right. All right, we leveled the box and mounted it. Yep, go ahead. We're gonna start drilling and mounting all our transformers. All right, good. All right, that looks pretty good. We got our box mounted and three transformers. There's gonna be a fourth one right here, but it's down over there. I need to disconnect all that so I can bring it in here. But like this, we're gonna get started. So from now, we're gonna take uh, an extension from there and run them in here. This is gonna be our last transformer that goes in there. So right now what I wanna do is just clean up this mess. This transformer is not in use, so I'm gonna take that out and then take these two out as well just to separate them. And this box is gonna be used just for our line voltage. Then I'm gonna tap in an, a BX and run that into our box. So let's just neaten all this stuff up. This can come out. not in use throw it out we got our two heater wires in this box now we're gonna make all our low voltage connections in here and then we're gonna make all our high voltage connections in there and then run BX to our panel here's my new box I have the two heater wires my two extensions they're running to the panel this is for the low voltage and then this is our high voltage 
Rena BX going into there as well. Got these going into the box with a ton of wires. So from here, I'm gonna wire up this setup. So we ran in those wires and I just wired these two transformers. So we're 50% done. So here are the connections I made and we can now close that up. So this box is now closed and I gotta get some covers for this one. This is not part of our heaters, but while I'm up here, I'm gonna change that too. Now this is gonna be the tricky part. I need to decipher all of this wiring and basically do the same exact thing. Get our two line voltages, bring them up there. And also our secondaries for the transformers. We gotta get those wires. Those are the wires going to the heaters. So let's figure this out. And yeah, this one is in use. One, two, and then this third one is not. So I'm just gonna start taking out what is not involved just so I can think a little easier because you see this and you just get a headache. <laughs> So let's go ahead and try to transfer this over to that box. So here's our low voltage wiring. Everything is boxed up. This is our high voltage wiring. Everything is boxed up. This was some other wiring that was just here. I just put a cover on it just because I want to do a good job. Here's the next box. This is our low voltage wiring. And then this is our high voltage wiring. I just need to close that up and put a cover on it and everything's going to be safe. And then from there, we could take a look at this panel. I still gotta need up the wires and stuff like that. But everything is now secured in that box and wired. So these are infrared patio heaters. They got 10 of them and it goes around the corner too. So I turn on the first switch. I just want you guys to see that it's heating. I don't think you guys could see it, but we have over 500 degrees there and in this one right there you can see seven eight hundred degrees so we got two heating that's a beautiful thing so we just got to go around and make sure that they all work all right so we turned off that switch now let's go with this one not sure if y'all can see but we got over 600 degrees must be the lighting let me see if i turn around this way i could actually feel it we got over 600 degrees as well so this one's operating so now we just got to make sure that all of these operate as well all right next switch got heat it's not this one and it skips over you know i wired it the same way that i found it wired so however they cross things up that's on them so that's heating this one is not wired and then this should be the next one and we have heat so that's going and we got one more switch to check and it should be this heater and the next one over all right that's the last one 500 and then this one 500 we got it they're all working all right that's all closed in that's all closed in that's all closed in that's all closed in Put a cover on that just as a courtesy put a cover on this too as a courtesy and then here's our panel nice and clean everything enclosed and safe just for reference so y'all know where exactly where we were working we're inside here in that crazy room unbelievable that was it all of the heaters have heat except for one but that was known before this job and what happened is that this heater specifically right here everything burned inside of it the control board the wires everything and they decided to replace it but as far as nine out of ten heaters they're all working and our controls are good if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.